All right, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about two NBA player props I like on prize picks for tomorrow slate. Before we get in the video though, if you guys are new, my name is DK and I cover content for prize picks uh, for daily fantasy sports, NBA, NFL, and XFL. If you guys are a first time user to prize picks, you can use the code DKDFS for a 100% match up to $100. It'll be linked down below. Also, um, premium content for DFS or prize picks will be linked down below as well. If you have any questions, so always let me know in the comment section. But let's recap tonight. So very profitable night for me on both prize picks and DraftKings. So I went four and two overall for prize picks. The two misses got hooked, and I'm I'm really tilted about both, to be honest. Um Kata Bates Diop played like nine first half minutes and um did not go over his fantasy score. And then I took Marvin Bagley over eight and a half rebounds. He played 41 minutes and won for eight rebounds. How are you playing that many minutes and hooking me? Like, if you give Marvin Bagley 41 minutes again in that spot, he's probably going for like 14 rebounds, right? So I was just like, come on, man. Come on. But yeah, we hit. Um, so I made a YouTube video last night. Uh, we hit Porzingis over PRA. I tweeted out that, that taco uh, one as well. Um, Keldon Johnson ended up getting ruled out out of nowhere because the Spurs and they're the worst. And then I uploaded or I tweeted out the day two ladder challenge. Um, trying to turn $50 into 150 Also uploaded a video for that. That hit. So moving on to day three, we took Porzingis over his fantasy score. We took Sabonis over his fantasy score, which shouldn't have been a swap, but it was because the game turned into a blowout. But he still went over even in a blowout. I also took Keegan Murray over his fantasy score and Trey Jones over his assist. So very profitable day. Uh, a lot of the tacos I had paired with either Porzingis or Sabonis. So that was nice. And then a DraftKings had a great day as well. Could have been even better if we didn't get a couple of the blowouts right um, with the Kings who had a low ownership and had, again, they got pulled like five minutes to go. I was really upset about that. But profitable night for DraftKings, profitable night for prize picks. So hoping to keep that going. And yeah, if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to let me know. Like, subscribe. Um, let's try to aim for, I don't know, 60 likes in this video. So. Um, all right, let's talk about the two picks. So the first one we're going to go to is actually going to be a points prop. And we're going to go to the Lakers. And we're going to go to a guy that's been a little bit quiet of late. But I think this is the get right spot for him. That's going to be Anthony Davis, 25 and a half points. We're going to take more than 25 and a half points here for AD. So looking at the juice on DraftKings, it is slightly on the over for his points at, I believe, minus 120. Um, yeah, minus, minus, minus 125 to go over 25 and a half points. Plus... You would say, oh, Phoenix, you know, they're kind of tougher matchup. Well, there's no DeAndre Aiden, right? So he's going to be matched up against Landale or Biombo. AD should, should be able to feast here. Now, we've had a couple outlier games from him of late. You know, we had the random Austin Reeves game where he went for, what, 35 real-life points. Like, I just don't think that's going to continue. So AD is their go-to guy. He should play in a competitive game mid-high 30s minutes. And uh, I think against the Suns, he should be able to feast here against either Landil or Biombo. So we're going to take AD over 25 and a half points as the first pick. And the second one we're going to go to is going to be a PRA prop. And we're going to go to the Bulls and we're going to be looking to DeMar DeRozan at his PRA, wherever it is. Where are... Just type it in. So uh, we're going to be looking to his 31 and a half PRA prop. And we're going to take more than 31 and a half PRA for DeRozan. Now... One thing I've noticed with Chicago recently, they're just running an extremely tight rotation um, down the stretch. I know last game went to overtime, but you're still getting in competitive games like 40 minutes a night from DeMar DeRozan. Um, he's a guy that, you know, is obviously doing some ball handling. Like he had 10 assists two games ago. I'm not expecting that, but with, with the amount of minutes that he's getting, with the amount of shot attempts he's getting, he's shooting the ball 20 plus times almost every single night. And the Bulls are in win now mode. Like they need to win a lot of games down the stretch. So. Um, I think this line is a little bit too low. If you take a look at player combos and look at DeMar DeRozan, you can see that um, it is slightly in the over minus 120, 31 and a half PRA. So those are going to be the two picks for today, guys. Again, we're looking to Anthony Davis, more than 25 and a half points. And we're looking to DeMar DeRozan, more than 31 and a half PRA. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for Ladder Challenge Day 3, where we try to turn $100 into 300 but yeah, I really appreciate all support on Twitter, YouTube recently. Um, hoping to keep this hot streak going. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy the rest of your night. We'll see you all in the next video.